hey guys welcome to this course so in this lesson we shall study about uh, aids that is the acquired immunodeficiency syndrome uh, one of the most danger and uh, hazardous disease of all time so this course is presented by me navneet sharma you can know more about me from here and you can follow me on this link if you like the lesson kindly rate review and recommend uh, now beginning with the lesson the acquired immunodeficiency uh, deficiency syndrome that is aids is a fatal illness caused by a retrovirus called as uh, human immunodeficiency virus that is the hiv virus uh, this hiv virus breaks down the body's immune system leaving the victim vulnerable to a host of life uh, threatening op opportunistic infections namely uh, neurological disorders or unusual uh, unusual malignancies is basically it uh, breaks down your nervous system and uh, uh, your nervous system cannot perf perform efficiently and uh, it becomes vulnerable to other small small diseases very fastly okay uh, the term aids refers only to the last stage of hiv infection there are five groups of adults at risk of developing aids they are uh, basically well uh, all of us are uh, vulnerable to this disease but uh, these are the five uh, five groups that are uh, more vulnerable okay homosexual or bisexual males uh, intravenous drug abusers recipients of blood and blood products heterosexual contacts and hemophiliacs uh, so this also explains the kind through which uh, or the, the ways through which this this disease spreads that is through unusual uh, sexual contacts or uh, using the uh, needles of uh, infected person in a drug abuse or in other blood, uh, blood products or any uh, casual heterosexual contacts okay so moving forward uh, the hiv is a 10000th of a millimeter in, in diameter okay it is a protein capsule containing two short strands of genetic material that is rna and the enzyme uh, the virus replicates in the actively div uh, dividing t4 lymphocytes that is t lymphocytes and uh, can uh, remain in lymphoid cells okay so this is the diagram of uh, hiv virus so that is uh, uh the which causes aids uh, uh, there is a protein capsule okay which contains this genetic material okay so this is the cap uh, capsid this is the matrix uh, this is the nucleocapsid this is the enzyme called reverse transcriptase which uh, which will make the rna uh, of uh, uh, the hiv virus and it, it will convert it into uh, dna okay now uh, and other sites are also present the gp41 gp122 protease lipid membrane is also present okay so nextly we have the virus has uh, the unique ability to destroy human t4 helper cells or t4 cells uh, as a, a type of uh, human t lymphocytes there are two types of hiv the most common virus is hiv1 and a more recently discovered virus is hiv2 now the one uh, once a virus person is uh, infected with the virus the virus remains in the body life long the virus also affects other cells of immune system such as b cells macrophages and nerve cells basically it affects only the uh, uh, cells which which are which are helpful in, uh, in nervous or uh, immune systems okay uh, so the incubation period of hiv virus varies from a few months to 6 years or more when the virus reproduces the infected t helper cells are destroyed that leads to the profound lymphopenia with a total lymphocyte count often below 500 uh, millimeter cube of blood uh, hiv aids transmission the human immunodeficiency virus is not transmitted by contamination that is by through insects or food or drinking water okay uh, human Im immunodeficiency virus is transmitted from person to person in the following ways first of all through sexual uh, transmission Secondly, through blood contact or thirdly through maternal fetal transmission uh, sexual transmission it is a sexually transmitted disease that is it is a std uh, vaginal anal or oral sex can spread aids from person to person adolescent girls and women above uh, 45 years of age are more prone to get uh, get hiv infection uh, secondly we have the blood contact uh, aids is transmitted by a transfu transfusion of contaminated blood needle sharing or uh, any other method of transmission of blood leads to infection uh, thirdly we have a mother to child transmission hiv may pass from an infected mother to her fetus through placenta or to her infant during delivery or by breast feeding okay 
so these are the this is diagram uh, uh, showing the most common methods of uh, transmission of SIV that is having in protected sex, sex with an infected partner or uh, sharing needles with an infected person or uh, uh, these are the most two uh, uh, affecting me methods and they, these are the almost eliminated as uh, risk factors for HIV transmission that is transmission from infected mother to the fetus uh, if, so if someone knows that the mother is infected then we can uh, protect the fetus from the infection okay and infection from blood products it is also uh, not a hepatitis disease uh, method of uh, uh, transmission of disease as, as all the blood products are uh, first of all uh, verified okay next we have the clinical manifestation of aids uh, uh, that is acquired immune deficiency syndrome occurs in four stages namely uh, initial infection of the virus and antibody production uh, the most hiv infected people have no symptoms for the first uh, five years or so now few patients may show mild illness like fever sore throat and rash uh, the hiv antibodies are usually ap uh, appear within 2 to 12 weeks in the blood serum the period between hiv infection and antibody production is called as the window period okay now secondly we have the asymptomatic carrier state uh, the infected people have antibodies but no overt sign of disease except persistent uh, generalized lymphadenopathy that is enlargement of lymph nodes okay next we have aids that is uh, related complex arc or uh, aids related complex that is arc arc is due to uh, damage to the immune system but without opp uh, opportunistic infections and cancers okay this is the third stage arc exhibits clinical features like diarrhea lasting longer than month fatigue loss of uh, more than 10 percent of body weight fever night sweats and generalized lymphadenopathy uh, now the last and final stage is the aids aids is the last stage of hiv infection a number of opportunistic infections and cancers occur at this stage death is due to uncontrolled and untreatable infection opportunistic infections and cancers are uh, tuberculosis uh, kaposi sarcoma that is cancer and uh, orthopharyngeal candia, uh, candidiasis and uh, pneumocyosis carini or pneumonia that is or a recurrent skin infection etc okay so this is the last and severe most stage after coming to this stage the person cannot be saved now aids diagnosis aids is diagnosed by two methods namely uh, clinical diagnosis uh, laboratory diagnosis okay clinical diagnosis in clinical diagnosis uh, we have an adult or adolescent uh, which is uh, greater than 12 years of age is considered to have aids if at least two of the following major signs are present in combination with at least one of the major signs listed below that major signs and symptoms are weight of uh, body uh, body uh, okay weight loss of body that is uh, which can be more than 10 percent chronic diarrhea for more than one month or prolonged fever for more than one month aids minor sign symptoms persistent cough for more than one month generalized uh, pu pruritic uh, dermatitis and uh, oropharyngeal candidiasis uh, generalized lymphadenopathy or uh, history of herpes zoster which is also a viral disease uh, aids laboratory diagnosis the aids can be diagnosed in a patient by using the following test elisa that is enzyme linked immunosorbent assay test and uh, tridot screening test firstly and thirdly we have the western blood test which is a confirmatory test these tests are used to to detect HIV antibodies, the person who's, who, who contain, whose blood contains HIV antibodies is said, is said to be uh, the HIV positive. Now the controls of AIDS. AIDS is controlled by following methods, educating uh, people to make life-saving choices, avoiding indiscriminate uh, sex or using condoms, etc. Uh, intravenous drug users should be informed that the sharing of needles and syringes involves spatial risk. Uh, women uh, suffering from AIDS should avoid uh, becoming pregnant because infection can be transmitted to her children. Fourthly, we have uh, blood should be uh, screened for HIV-1 and HIV-2 before transfusion. Uh, another pre-sterilized disposable needle syringe should be used as far as possible. Uh, now the AIDS treatment. At present, there is no vaccine or cure for treatment of uh, HIV infection. The drugs like uh, Zidovudin, uh, Dadenosin and uh, Zelcitabin and uh, Stavudin are proved to be useful in prolonging the lives of AIDS patients. Okay, so 
i hope you like the lesson this lesson finished here uh, so thank you guys for watching keep learning